Hello friends. This is PHP Shopping Cart with Stripe Payment Integration Tutorial Series, and in this part, we will discuss how to remove single item from shopping cart, and then after we will see how to clear all item from shopping cart, by using PHP script with Ajax. First, we want to remove particular item from cart, so here we have write dollar document with on method, and under this we have right click event, with remove button plus delete, so when we have click on remove button, then this code will execute. Under this we have write product id variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method, and under this we have write id, this code will fetch value of id attribute, and store under product id variable. Below this, we have write action variable is equal to remove, here we have define action of remove of particular item from cart. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write confirm dialog box, with pop-up message like are you sure you want to remove this product, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write ajax request, and under this first we have write url option is equal to action.php, here we have send request to this file. In second option, we have write method option, and under this we have write post, that means we have used post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write product id variable value, and action variable value. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully. Under this function, we have called load cart data function, this function will fetch latest shopping cart data on web page. After this, we want to hide bootstrap popover. So we have write dollar with popover id, cart popover with popover method, and under this we have write hide, this code will hide bootstrap popover on web page. Lastly we have write alert statement, and under this we have write, item has been removed from cart, this message will pop up on web page. Now we have go to action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to remove, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys variable with dollar values variable. Under this loop, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar values product id variable value is equal to dollar post product id variable value. If this condition true, then it will execute if block code. Under this block, we have write unset function, and under this function, we have write dollar session shopping cart variable with dollar keys variable as index. This function will remove node of this session shopping cart variable. After this, we have go to index page, 
And here we have write dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this we have right click event with clear button id clear cart, so when we have click on clear cart button, then this code will execute. Under this first, we have right action variable is equal to empty. After this, we have start right ajax request for clear cart. So here first we have right URL option set to action.php. In second option, we have right method. And here we have right post. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have right data option. In this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have define action variable. Lastly we have write success callback function. If Ajax request has been completed successfully, then this function will be called. Under this function, we have called load cart data function. This function will display latest shopping cart details on web page under bootstrap popover plugin. After this, we want to hide bootstrap popover, so we have write dollar with popover id cart popover with popover method, and under this method, we have write hide, this code will hide bootstrap popover. Lastly we want to pop up dialog box with message, so we have write alert with message like your cart has been clear. Now we have moved to write PHP code in action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable is equal to empty, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write unset function, and under this, we have write dollar session shopping cart variable. This code will destroy this session shopping cart variable. So here our code is ready for remove single item or remove all item from shopping cart. So we have save code and check output in browser. Now friends first we have refresh page. And on web page we can see one item has been added into cart. After refresh of web page also, we can see shopping cart data. This is because this shopping cart data has been stored in session variable. Now we want to add one more item into shopping cart. So we have click on particular item add to cart button. And this item has been added into cart, which we can see in bootstrap popover. After this we want to remove one item from shopping cart, so we have click on that item row remove button. After click on remove button, shopping cart has been hide from web page. So here we can also see total item of shopping cart has been decrease and total number of item has been change. Now we have again click on shopping cart then we can see only one item in our cart and one has been removed from cart. Here we can see item name, quantity, price and total price of cart also. Now we have add two more item in our cart. Now we can see three item in our cart. And here can see total price of cart in two side. One is in popover and second we can see on header menu also. Now we want to remove all item from cart. So we have click on clear button. After click on clear button. Shopping cart of all item has been removed from cart, 
and we can see zero item in our cart, and total price of cart goes to zero. For checkout from cart, we can simply click on this checkout button, which code we will in next part, in next part we will display shopping cart details, with fill customer details form, for proceed for payment by using Stripe Gateway integration.